Well, how many Kentucky voters are focusing on races for Congress and state Senate? Webster County voters are focused on alcohol sales. Now, Seabury is one of two towns deciding on future sales. Both sides are making their stances known across the city. From your local election headquarters, Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is in Seabury with more from voters. For well, the past couple of weeks here in Seabury, it's felt like you can't look anywhere without seeing a sign either for or against alcohol sales here in town. And these signs are just one sign of the growing intensity in this debate. They can be seen in the same neighborhood. Same street. I've never seen this many signs. We got them all up and down the roads out here. And in Rosetta Hicks's case, both in her front yard. And we got some friends. And one wanted to put it and we we went for it. And the other caught me up church. <laughs> and uh, we said, well, well, I don't want my key man, so go ahead and put it in there. But one says yes and one says no. <laughs> Signs arguing for and against alcohol sales posted several weeks ago as residents vote on the issue. Seabury stayed dry after a past effort failed in 2012. I just think the city, it would help the city if we had something to offer someone else that they might want to come here and put in a business. This is a free country and people can vote however they want to vote. But uh, Seabury's been, and Webster County's been dry for many years, I think, since Prohibition. And we want to keep it that way. Some voters say they haven't seen this many signs for a wet dry vote before, while a few say it could be too much. But it's another way to post their opinions. I think it's a healthy thing that it's good to people to express their opinion. Seabury is not the only town here in Webster County deciding on alcohol sales. The city of Providence is also holding a wet drive vote next month. In Seabury, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.